your pants. Out of Chicago, hey, what's that art about? Welcome back to Art of Chicago. Today we will be going down to the South Loop to discuss the bed of knives. So, uh, they call it the, uh, the bed of knives. The bed of knives out there in the park, Grant Park. Oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. A bunch of, bunch of guys out there, no backs. No backs, no heads, no arms. No backs, no heads, no arms. You know what's weird? They call it the bed of knives because they got stabbed in the back. But it was a cursed knife. A cursed knife. A cursed knife. That knife was cursed. They got stabbed in the back with a cursed knife from the sewer. And, uh, Splinter. Splinter came by and he said, hey gonna dissolve your back if you're not careful. But then what happened was, the cursed knife was so crazy that it made the heads fall off. Yeah. And then after that, and each arm fell off one by one. They were running for their lives. And that's why they pose the way they are. Because it's like they're running. That's right. That's right. It's like the running, it's like the legs are in scissors. Yeah. I mean, Scissor legs. Like, like, the, like the mid run, but they're, they're stuck in their own cement. And there's no knees. No knees, man. How do you bend? Weird. You know what's weird? I saw this movie once, Contact. Oh, Contact. I never, I never saw backwards it. knees. Oh, wait. The knees are backwards, like a flamingo. Flamingos walk forwards, but the knees are backwards. Yeah. Gazelles, the heads are the other butts. But these guys, no knees. No knees. They gotta walk like they got palsy. Can you imagine if they sat down, the legs would be straight out. Kick straight everybody, out. tripping people on the bus, the assholes. That's why they got stabbed in the back to begin with. Can you imagine going to the movies with these people? Bastards. Awful. In fact, it was Rosa Parks herself. Oh. Guy was sitting on the bus, legs stretched out like a retard. Rosa comes by, trips over with her bag of groceries. Her mm. collard greens go all over the floor. Her fried chicken falls in the seat. And her steak, her steak that she forgot to get, was still at the grocery still store. Still at the grocery store. Man, I bet she could have kicked herself that pissed. day. She was pissed. But then what happened was, because Rosa Parks was in the back of the, she was in the back of the bus, right? Just like that, just like that song by that band. Everybody, yeah, in the, the band. back of the bus. Who is that yeah. band? Yeah, uh, that was Kermit the Frog, Rainbow Connection. Right, that's the one. That's I've, right. That's I've right. I'm trying to remember all day. Anyways, she's so, good at remembering. She's good at songs. I got the brain. Yeah. She's got it. So what happened was, Rosa Parks is sitting in the back of the bus, and this guy gets up and says, "Rose, let me sit there. You gotta go." Oh, no, she's in the front of the bus. Excuse me, excuse me, because she's supposed she to be She was all over back. the bus. She was a seat hole. <laughs> she, she was a seat hole. She had the middle, she had the next, she had the aisle seat, she had the window seat. Well, to be she, fair, her groceries were everywhere, so she had to sit true. down to pick them up. But, so she's sitting in the front of the bus, and this this guy says, you know, with the, with the no knees, he says, Hey, Rosa, get to the back of the bus. There's less room back there. I need more room for my legs. And she said, you don't even have no head. Right after she said that, her eyes rolled up into the back of her head, like... Uh, and she, uh, she uttered a curse. It was the curse of Tal Rasha. Oh, gosh. The curse, the curse of, Tal of Tal Rasha. Rasha. Don't have, don't say the words, though, man. Don't say them. I'll say it in Russian. Well, die, I'll say it in Russian. Bolshevik Lodoya. Noyesky Kabonk. <laughs> Damn, the last one. It scares me. Yeah. Say yeah. those words in English or any other language other than Russian, we're all dead. It translates loosely. I'm not going to say the correct translation, but it translates loosely to a pox on both your houses, and I hope you get syphilis. And your dog will die in three days. Turns out, all it did was make his back fall off. But then she gets up, and because after she, this was after she had done the, uh, the, uh, the, the curse, the, the curse, right? Talrasha. The curse yeah. of Talrasha. Talrasha's curse. Oh, so scary. She gets oh, up, but then she puts her hands around this guy's neck. But guess what? Ain't no, ain't got no neck. When his head fell off. Hey, hey, His name hey. went with it. You remember that, uh, you remember that, uh, Sleepy Hollow? Oh, God, it's like that. It's like Sleepy Hollow. Oh, God. It's scary. like that guy, and he has the pumpkin. Yeah, the pumpkin for the head? It's like the pumpkin for the head guy. Yeah. Except there's a hundred and six of them, and they're all made out of steel with no knees and no pumpkins. Right, but they're also a little bit veiny, I think. It's so I th veiny. I think that, uh, whoever made them, what was the name, do you remember? Uh, yeah, it was, uh, Murka. Murka, yeah, yeah. Murka. Well, Murka made these statues. She was Chinese. Yeah, real weird lady. You know, I'm thinking... That maybe she had some sort of phallic obsession or something, because you know. Who doesn't these days? <laughs> hey, hey, oh! everybody's That's got a right. phallic obsession. Everybody. But this when one, you look at them, this one's got a phallic obsession. <laughs> Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Let me the camera. That's right. 
Oh, but it's true. Anyway, so when you look at the front, they're, they're really veiny. You know, it's like, oh, that's really phallic. It's like a penis vein. And that's what I think of. I mean, go look at it, and you're gonna say, Mirka, the famous China woman, was really phallically obsessed with the penis vein. So this lady, yeah. this lady builds all these statues, the bed the knives. That's right, better not. I keep forgetting. That's right, the better not. I don't a shit for nothing, man. And, uh, moral of the story is, it ain't going nowhere. Also, say your prayers. Say your prayers. Because Rosa Parks will you. come with you with a curse to tell Rasha, and then somebody's gonna stab you in the back and your head's gonna fall off. Out of Chicago, hey, what's that?